Hello Code Gurus, welcome back. So as a part of our uh, development environment setup, so we created a source code repository in our Bitbucket and later on we added a skeleton Quasar application to it. And as a part of that, we created a web application and also we created mobile application for both Android and iOS. We went a further step ahead and created production environment and created a continuous delivery pipeline to it so that we could release the changes very frequently to it. Now, this all steps, if we sum up, it looks like we are ready for feature development. However, there is very one important step which we need to be aware of. In order to know what is that step, let's go to the Quasar website. So on the top left, click on the doc section so now under the doc section, you could see over here, there is a version number which is displayed to us. Click on that version number. You will be finding something called as release notes. So just click on this release notes. Now, if you see this release notes, there is a date associated to it when that version was released. So now if you see over here, the version releases by our Quasar guys are like very frequent. So now, if you don't go ahead and upgrade your Quasar application, there is a high possibility that you might end up with a very old version at one point of time, which would be impossible for upgrading that application to the latest version. So now it is always recommended to go ahead and upgrade to the latest version of your Quasar app as soon as possible. Now, there is one question over here. If these guys are releasing the features or if they are releasing uh, the minor version every alternate day, isn't it a time consumption? Normally, the answer would be yes. But again, the Quasar guys are aware of this difficulty and they have made it very simple using your Quasar CLI. All right then, let's proceed to the command prompt and see how do we go ahead and upgrade that. So first go to your project folder and all you have to do is just say Quasar Upgrade. So this CLI will read your project and will identify from which version to which version you have to upgrade. And it also gives you what is the instruction in order to be used to go ahead and upgrade your application to the actual, actual version. So here, if you have seen upgrading of your Quasar application from one version to the other version is pretty simple. So that is the reason why I would recommend you guys to go ahead and upgrade your Quasar application as frequently as possible. So once you go ahead and execute this Quasar upgrade hyphen I command, just give it a couple of minutes so that it can go ahead and download all the latest version of changes and upgrade your existing application to the latest version. All right, so if you observe over here, we have successfully upgraded our Quasar application to the latest version. So it's pretty simple. So it is always recommended for you guys to go ahead and upgrade your Quasar application as soon as possible or try to keep your version of your Quasar application as minimal as possible so that you don't end up fixing a huge amount of break fixes just in case if they have released some break fixes. So now that we know how to upgrade our Quasar application from one version to the other version, what, what is the next step as a part of our environment setup? So the only last step which is left out as a part of our development environment setup is go ahead and configuring your IDE. So as a part of our session, we will be using VS Code as our editor. So if you just go to your Google and just say VS Code, so this is the IDE which we will be using for our entire course. So I have already went ahead and downloaded and installed that thing on my machine. So it should be pretty straightforward for your respective operating systems. So once you have installed, let's go ahead and try to install a couple of extensions to that IDE, which makes our life a bit easier when we are developing our Quasar application. So let's go to our IDE. So before that, go to the Quasar application docs. What are the extensions which we need to install? So if you just scroll down, there is something called as VS Code configuration. So just click on that. 
So the few standard things which are recommended by your Quasar guys is your ESLint plugin and Vetor plugin. So let's click on ESLint. So just click on install. It will say I want to open your application in your VS Code. Once that is done, just click on install. So that will go ahead and install your ESLint plugin to your IDE. So apart from that, the next plugin which your VS Code guys recommend is Vue Vetor. So just go ahead and install this Vetor. Open your IDE. So it's already installed on my machine. So because I was experimenting things. So what this one does is it helps you to go ahead and uh, perform the linting issues or the code snippets for your view framework. So it makes it easier when you're working with view. So apart from this, there is one more third step which you need to perform. So after installing these two extensions, you need to go ahead and upgrade, update your settings.json file for your IDE. So let's go to our IDE, go to your code and click on preferences and click on settings. So depending upon your operating system, these steps might differ. So here ultimately just go to the settings page and just say settings.json. So this one will go ahead and give you, so just click on edit json, sorry edit settings.json, go to your Quasar website, copy all the steps. So why do I need to copy the steps? What it makes, what does it make a difference? So, so before that, let's go ahead and open our project. So in our case, our project is Code Guru. So just give it some time. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to some random uh, config.js file. So here what I've done is I have purposefully just said, give some kind of extra spaces to it and try to save that application or save that file. So nothing happens. But as per ESLint, this is an error. Because you have installed that ESLint plugin, your ID is able to say there is some ESLint issues over here. So now, by updating your settings.json file, you are taking this a step further. How about your ID corrects all these basic errors by itself? So that is what we are going to achieve by upgrading our settings.json file. So once you are on your settings page, just type settings json so that we can edit the json directly so here you could see edit in settings.json so these are your normal existing settings so don't disturb that go to your quasar website copy all those settings which they have recommending us so just copy that so ensure that uh, since there is already a settings.json file i'm not copying the body i'm just copying the content now go back to your id ide and paste those contents which you have copied over here and just save it. Now, if you go back to your quasar.json, just say file.save, observe the magic. So your IDE now it's now itself automatically correcting all the basic linting issues. So you, it, it just improves your developer experience a bit further and helps you to only concentrate on your application rather than file rather than fighting with this linting issues. So with this step, we have successfully completed our environment setup required for developing our application using our Quasar framework. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If yes, please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to click subscribe button and bell icon in order to receive instant notifications from our channel.